Hi guys, it's Phoebe from Who's Phoebe and welcome back to another Doctor Who video. Now before we get into this video, I have a couple of things to say. First, if you've never seen my face on your screens before, please get that red button subscribe button down below. Also click the notifications bell so you get notifications every single time I upload. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Secondly, a few things. In the new year, I'm reviewing the new Doctor Who spin-off, Tales of the TARDIS. Um, I will be reviewing it as a person, um, obviously of what I think of the spin-off and so yeah, there's six episodes so you'll get those over like a period of maybe six weeks or maybe over a few months as I continue to do other classic reviews and you know, Doctor Who news and other things. Also in Doctor Who news as well, um, the BBC recently announced that they are putting the remainder of the Celestial Toymaker up as, an, as a 3D animation, which I did see a trailer for yesterday. Um, so, yeah, I did see a trailer for it yesterday, and it looks pretty damn cool. It's also in colour, so I will give that a review at some point, as and when it comes onto the whole universe. And secondly, I start my new podcast, The Doctor's Life, on the 17th of February 2024. So watch out for that. I don't know if the episodes are going to be monthly or weekly. That really just depends on what kind of mood I am in and what kind of guests I have. So as you know, I have been doing 24 Days of Doctor Who, where I reviewed 24 classic Doctor Who stories from the 1960s onwards. And today is The Dominators. Also just one more quick thing before I get onto my review for this is that um, The Giggle comes out today so if you're watching this video um, The Giggle will be out and I will already be getting ready to do my review on it. And it's the last 60th anniversary special and I will be giving the Christmas special um, The Church on Ruby Road a review but that will go up the week after Christmas just because I would have done all of these 24 of these Doctor Who videos and personally I don't really want to put a video up on Christmas Day so these go up until Christmas Eve and then you will get a Christmas special the opposite week, the next Monday. Okay, so without further ado let's get on with Let's get on with the video. So, I liked The Dominators, but when I watched the actual story, it's a five part story, so it's actually relatively short. Um, I was expecting a lot more than what I watched. The Doctor, Jamie and Zoe land on Durkus. I think that's the name of the planet. I can't really be sure. It begins with a D. And they meet the Durkins, which are a species that inhabits this planet. And then there's something called the Quarks, Robots and Dominators. I didn't particularly really like this story from the off, just because it felt a bit rushed. Everything felt a bit rushed when it came to this. I feel like it would have been a good story if it would have been with a different Doctor. I'm not saying anything about the second Doctor. I really generally enjoy seeing the second Doctor. But having a companion that's on... Having Zoe that's slightly smarter than the Doctor, I feel like this kind of let the story down in such a big way, and that is so. I feel like that let the story down in a big way, and it didn't really work out the way it should have done. I liked the concept of it, it's just the Dominators were trying to take over the planet and they were making the Durkins do work, and it felt like it was Doctor Who promoting that slave labour is a good thing and not saying that slave labour is a bad thing. I'm sorry, I know probably wasn't the producers, the showrunners intention to do that. I know, I know, I know. But for me personally, I think if I was alive in the 60s and I watched this, I would have definitely thought that Doctor Who were saying that slave labour is a good thing. And personally for me, I felt that was really, really off with the story. Personally, that is just my opinion. I feel like this story is like Marmite. You love it or you hate it. And I did like the concept of this story, like, story-wise. I definitely liked it as, like, story-wise. Yes, I liked it story-wise. I feel like it 
it's a good story if you like it but i personally think it was too much promoting the idea of slave labor and i'm sorry to say this but i don't think that is the best way for doctor who to go if they're going to do stories i feel like promoting slave labor is a bad thing there was also that whole thing about Zoe being smarter than the Doctor and knowing exactly what was going on and also the qualms were these like chunky robot type things that really felt off. It didn't give the story what it deserved. Also the outfits that the actors playing the Dominators were wearing also seemed very very chunky for the actors to move around in. And I know this is probably done, this is done on a low budget and I know they very much tried their best. I'm not letting the low budget, like, stop me from giving you my honest opinion. But I generally do think that this story was not one of the greatest of the Patrick Troughton era, personally, in my opinion. And this was the first time I've ever watched this and it just felt off to me. Timing was a bit off. The actual story itself, it, it was a great concept. I liked the, the idea of it, but everything just felt a little bit out of place with the Doctor and Jamie and Zoe. It felt a bit out of place. Story wise, even though it was a great idea that they'd put together and I generally did, I did thoroughly enjoy the story but I felt like it dragged on a bit, even though it is a five part story, I felt like the second part kind of dragged it on a bit too much and spouting useless information that I don't particularly really want to know about. I just want to get to the main plot of how the Doctor is going to defeat them, so can't you just give me that one basic actual thing? So yeah, I felt like it drew on a bit too long, despite the fact it's only a five part story. Luckily all the story is there, so it's not animated, which is thank goodness for me, because I really do hate animated Doctor Who stories. And I'm saying that honestly, I really do generally hate anything that is relatively Doctor animated, apart from the games, the games are really good. But yeah, so yeah, I didn't really enjoy the story as much as I was hoping to. But yeah, I feel like, before I give my mark out of 10, I feel like this story is like Marmite. You love it or you hate it. I know there's a lot of classic fans that really love this story and I get it. But yeah, so I, personally, in my opinion, I didn't really enjoy this story, which is why this review is short, because there is not, there's not many positives. There is one positive though, I liked the idea of the Doctor and Jamie being split up from Zoe, and then Zoe doing her own little thing with Cully, and I felt like that was really good pacing, and it did help the story move along in a good sense. But yeah, apart from that, there's not really much else I can say. So overall, I would give this story a 5 out of 10, if I'm being nice if i was if if i wasn't reviewing this i'd probably give this a two out of ten in, in itself but yeah i didn't feel like this story was going anywhere and it just dragged on and i just feel like the crown was a good really hope they come back one day maybe better maybe cgi i feel like cgi would have been better but yeah so all in all a five out of ten if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you hit the button down below below so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up if you did, and make sure you put a video in your down below to be part of the Who's family. And in the word of the second doctor, oh my word.